Welcome to the Virtual College Exploration for All West Virginia Students, sponsored by the West Virginia, West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers in StriveScan. Thank you, for, thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at WVAC. RAO.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, WVACRAO.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Perfect. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Let me get all this pulled up real quick. We'll get running. Okay, perfect. Right, we're ready. Get this out of the way. All right. So like I said, good evening. Welcome to my presentation of Bethany College. My name is Stephanie Bell. I am a senior enrollment counselor at Bethany, and I work with all prospective students from Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Virginia, and West Virginia. So I will be your primary contact throughout your entire admission process. If this is your first time learning about Bethany College this evening, welcome, and I'm really glad that you're here. If this is not your first time, thank you for coming back to learn some more. We have about 45 minutes together today, so I do plan to talk to you about Bethany for about 30 minutes or so, and then we will do some Q&A for the remainder of the time. While I am presenting, though, please feel free to enter any questions that you have into that chat or the chat box, the Q&A box, and then I will get to them and answer as many as I can um, at the end. Here's just a quick overview of what we will cover today. Some quick facts about Bethany, uh, where the campus is located and where our students come from. An overview of Bethany's programs of study and something called the Bethany Plan. Student support services, including our academic support services and health and wellness support. An overview of our housing, dining, athletics, and student activities. Admission, where we'll talk about applying, required application documents, and timelines. And then we'll wrap up with some financial aid and talk about some scholarship opportunities, and we'll hit on the FAFSA real quick. Perfect. So just to get started, I want to share with you uh, a two minute, uh, one of our quick short virtual tour videos. See if we can get this open and playing. Choosing a college, it shapes who you are, how you connect to the world and what you become. Maybe it's the one rooted in a deep history, but committed to caring and teaching to solve the problems of today, and one that's recognized for excellence. And it's definitely one that can connect you to success after graduation. But most importantly, you need to know it's the one that's right for you. Well, we have just the one, Bethany College. Here, we've built a vision that ensures all our students are ready for the future. We make sure graduates leave here ready to change the world in ways that matter, ready to leave from day one. With more than 60 majors, minors, and social programs, every student can explore ideas and find the path that drives them. And with a 10 to one student to faculty ratio, our faculty inspire each student to imagine and achieve. I think it is quite interesting that everyone will know each other. We're quite like a family rather than uh, students and uh, teachers. It's far greater than just the classroom. Our students are active on the playing field and off. And learning doesn't end when a student leaves campus. Our students are in demand and prepared for the global challenges of tomorrow. I've already met alumni who have offered like, oh, you're a history major. I might be able to help you out in a couple of years, or I might have an internship that you might be interested in later this summer. We're surrounded by natural beauty and give our students the chance to connect to it, learn from it, and be inspired by it. We have 1,300 acres of forest right here on the Bethany campus, and that's an amazing resource for us in the biology department. This dynamic liberal arts college is built on tradition and unified by community, and the campus is breathtaking. 
So ask yourself, is Bethany College the one for you? Come see for yourself. Perfect. I just love that video. There we are. I think it's so inspirational and just a motivational video and just talked about all the reasons why we just love Bethany. So let's talk about some quick facts. Bethany was founded in 1840 and is the oldest private college in the state of West Virginia. Our students represent 25 countries and then, or 25 states, sorry, and 13 international countries. The college is related to the Disciples of Christ Church. Our student to faculty ratio is 10 to one, and the average class size is about 14 students. As an NCAA Division III athletics institution, we do have 22 athletics programs plus a co-ed equestrian program. Princeton Review just recently came out with their best of the best colleges region by region report, where they recognize 655 colleges and universities over the five regions. Right now, there are just about 2,500 four-year colleges and universities in total in the United States, and Bethany was listed as one of the 142 best colleges in the Southeast region. Bethany College is located in the northern panhandle of West Virginia in the small town of Bethany, West Virginia. Downtown Pittsburgh is only about an hour away, depending on traffic, of course, and Washington and Wheeling can both be reached in about 25 to 30 minutes. Because of our close proximity to our neighboring states, you can see on the second map here why our students' population is so spread out. The green states Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland, and Florida are where the majority of our students come from, but we do have at least one student from each of the gold states on our campus. We also currently have students on campus from the 13 international countries that are represented at the bottom. You see the United Kingdom, Greece, Antigua and Barbuda, Palestine, Germany, France, Mexico, Canada, Ethiopia, Australia, China, Chile, and Argentina. Bethany is a private liberal arts college that offers over 60 majors and minors and eight pre-professional programs. Our pre-professional programs are advisory programs, which means that you choose a specific major and your academic advisor will help you tailor your curriculum to that pre-professional program. So for example, if you want to become a doctor and you're interested in the medical and health professions pre-professional program, a common major that a lot of students will choose is biology, of course. From there, their academic advisor will help them choose specific classes that align with both graduation requirements and prerequisites for acceptance into medical school. The top five majors from this current year's freshman class were physical education and sports studies came in at number one. Number two was biology. Number three, it was management. Fourth place was communications. And then fifth place was social work. I do think that it is also very important to note that 8% of this year's freshman class did come in as undecided. At Bethany, students have until the end of their sophomore year to formally declare a major. So that means you have four whole semesters to take classes in your liberal arts core while you also explore intro classes in any major that interests you. What does liberal arts mean in college? Bethany's liberal arts core is designed to ensure that all Bethany students are acquainted at the college level with areas of knowledge and methods of thinking that are traditionally associated with a liberal arts education. Each student is required to successfully complete a three or four credit course in each of the eight areas that are listed here contemporary society and institutions, aesthetic awareness and creativity, human behavior, life science, literature, mathematical understanding, physical science, and the Western tradition. You can see though that on this screen, each section has a variety of classes that students can choose from. Classes at liberal arts colleges are usually smaller and include classroom discussions almost on a daily basis rather than a lecture style classroom. Students have the opportunity to hear different perspectives, 
communicate their thoughts and ideas, and think critically. Students are also allowed and even encouraged to take classes in many different disciplines. By definition, liberal arts colleges provide students an overview of the arts, humanities, mathematics, natural sciences, and social sciences. A degree from a liberal arts college is generally meant to prepare students for a variety of career paths versus a specific career path. Liberal arts students spend a lot of time communicating both verbally and in writing. The intimate nature of most liberal arts educations prepares future employees for all areas of a career. Students will have analytical communication and team working skills that they will need to succeed. And because of this, companies are hiring liberal arts graduates more frequently because of these skills. Every student who attends Bethany College follows a very specific curriculum called the Bethany Plan which is designed to prepare you for success in the 21st century, guiding you toward the fulfillment of your personal goals, the challenges of graduate study, and the preparation for a productive and rewarding career. The first step in the Bethany Plan is our first year experience, which includes a first year seminar. First year seminars introduce students to the study of a specialized subject area, help students improve writing and thinking skills, and familiarize students with the academic life of the college. Sophomore and junior year are all about out of class learning experiences. While it is not mandatory for students, if you are interested in study abroad opportunities, you will have the opportunity to become engaged in global learning and spend time out of the country in a global setting. Internships are also an important part of a Bethany education as students gain professional and developmental experiences through working in their related field of study. As a senior, you'll complete the capstone experience, a senior project created specifically to get you on your way to a master's degree and or the entry level job market to transform you into a knowledgeable, productive human being. The very final step, comprehensive exams, these are an opportunity to find out what you know about your major, how much you've absorbed and how well you can express it. And when you come out on the other side, you will have earned it. You'll be smart, articulate and well-rounded. You'll have been transformed into someone with the confidence to take the next step in your life head on. You will be a Bethany College graduate. Bethany provides numerous support services for our students through both the McCann Learning Center and the Student Health Center. Academic support services include supplemental instruction, tutoring, writing assistance, a, a PASS program, which stands for the Program for Academic and Social Success, and then ADA accommodations. Supplemental instruction is provided throughout all semesters for multiple courses. These sessions are really great to attend if you want maybe just a little bit of extra help in a nice group setting. Individual tutoring is also available if you want more one-on-one -on -one instru instruction in specific classes. The Writing Center is where all students can go to get individual assistance with their writing assignments. Maybe you need help structuring a paper, or maybe you just need someone to proofread your assignment. All students are encouraged to use the free services that are provided in the Writing Center. Our PASS program, which I said is an acronym for Program for Academic and Social Success, is a specifically designed program for students identifying as having specific learning differences and attention deficit disorders. Students here participate in one-on-one -on -one appointments with certified experienced learning specialists to develop the metacognitive and multisensory strategies that are necessary for college success. This program does require an additional application and only accepts a limited number of new students each year in order to ensure that all students receive thorough support while they are in the program. The McCann Learning Center also provides ADA accommodations for students who disclose a learning difference and provide us with the proper documentation. In order to support our students' health and wellness, physicians are on campus and available to students three mornings every week. Outside of doctor's hours though, a licensed nursing staff is also available to see students. Services of the health center are provided to all students at no charge. Most medications and medical supplies are also distributed to students at no charge. We also do have a full-time college counselor on campus to support all of our students' mental health needs. 
Choosing a college is all about finding the right fit for you. And we know that student life is a big part of that. Bethany is a residential campus, which means almost all of our students live in on-campus housing. Our residence halls promote an atmosphere of learning, personal growth, and the development of student relationships in an environment that is both safe and secure. Students live on campus in a variety of housing options that include traditional style residence halls to suite style housing and apartment style housing. Housing selection for first year students is done based on the date of your tuition deposit. So the earlier you decide that you will be attending Bethany and you submit that deposit, the higher your chances of getting your first preference residence hall will be. Our housing director and some resident assistants filmed a walkthrough video tour of the residence halls this summer. So if you would like to see a virtual inside tour of our residence halls, you can go on YouTube and just search for Bethany College residence hall tour and it'll pop right up. Students have two options for dining on campus. Ogden Dining Hall is our largest dining facility and serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner daily. Every student has an unlimited dining meal plan in here. No need to keep track of weekly swipes or available dollars. From everyday staples like pizza, pasta, and a salad bar to a variety of changing menu items, you will definitely always find something good to eat in here. Ogden is also known for having late night dining hours until nine o'clock every day which can be a very nice option if you have a full night of studying ahead of you. The other dining location on campus is called The Hub. Students will have $100 per semester on their meal plan to spend here. The Hub offers selections like Starbucks coffee, cold beverages, sandwiches, salads, soups, and snacks. This place is a really good option if, for example, let's say you have a super busy day and you know that you're just not going to have time to sit down and have lunch in Ogden. You can swing through here. Bethany is an NCAA Division III athletics institution and the only Division III college in West Virginia with 11 men's sports, 11 women's sports, and a co-ed equestrian team. Roughly 70% of our student body are student athletes and some students are even multi-sport athletes. If you're interested in continuing to compete in your sport after high school, I do encourage you to complete a recruiting questionnaire on our athletics website, or to reach out to our coaches to express your interest and learn about the recruiting process. Whether you're involved in college athletics or not, there are so many opportunities to get involved on campus. Student Activities Council, Drama Club, Greek Life, Photography Club, Spanish Club, Student Government, Athletic Intramurals. These are just a few of the many clubs and organizations available to our students. Student Activity Council is known for planning fun and exciting events throughout the year for students to enjoy, such as bingo nights, trivia nights, movie nights, and plenty of off-campus trips. Last year, some of our off-campus trips included a Pittsburgh Pirates game, a Cleveland Cavaliers game, uh, Cedar Point, Halloween, Fright Nights, Top Golf, and even ice skating. And the best part of all is that these trips are all free for Bethany students. Student Life is always looking to add more clubs and organizations on campus though. So if you do have an interest and you don't see something that already exists, you can easily submit a proposal to Student Life to launch a new club or organization and receive funding for it if it is approved. Now, let's talk admission and financial aid. If you are a high school senior, applications are open for your class. Applying to Bethany is always free. You can apply using the Bethany application, which is on our website, or the common application. We have no preference on which one that you use, so it is completely up to you. The Bethany application, uh, super quick, super easy. It will probably take you about 10 minutes, maybe even less, the Common App, if you're not super familiar with it yet, it's kind of easiest to think of as like a universal application. There are currently over 800 colleges and universities in the United States that accept the Common Application. So it takes a little bit longer to complete, but once you're done, you can select up to 20 colleges or universities and have your application sent out at once. 
Bethany is now officially test optional. So if you choose to apply test optional, your enrollment file will be considered complete after we receive that application for admission and your official high school transcript. Since we are a rolling admission college, you can then expect to receive your admission decision letter in the mail within just a few weeks from that time. We have already started reviewing applications and sending out acceptance letters, and we'll continue to review them on a rolling basis for the remainder of the academic year. Financial aid begins as soon as you're accepted to Bethany. On this screen, you'll see some of our commonly awarded scholarships and grants. This list is not all inclusive though, and you can find the full list on our website at bethanywv.edu slash scholarships. I have that link right on the screen for you. For merit scholarships, all accepted students are considered for a merit scholarship of up to $20,000. This scholarship is determined based on your cumulative high school GPA and is renewable year after year. The higher your GPA in high school, the higher your merit scholarship will be. This scholarship will be included in your admission decision letter if you have been accepted to the college. So definitely make sure that you read that whole letter. Presidential honors and KLON leaders are three competitive scholarship opportunities with specific eligibility requirements. Invitations to attend one of the competition days for these scholarships will be sent out to qualified students. Presidential Honors and KLON Leaders Scholarships cannot be combined with merit scholarships, and I'll touch on these just a little bit more um, in just a moment. Our visit grant, our $1,000 visit grant is available to any student who schedules and attends their first campus visit through our enrollment office. Currently, we are hosting um, campus visits both through a virtual format so that you can still visit and learn about Bethany from home as well as some on-campus visits. We did just start opening up our on-campus visits though, so they are only available on a limited basis. We are currently doing two campus tours per day, Monday through Friday, and only one student and family per tour. As you can imagine, uh, they are filling up pretty fast. So I definitely recommend getting on our website and scheduling one as soon as possible if you are interested in visiting campus. Last I looked today, uh, the month of October is pretty full. I'm not sure there's any openings left in October and November starting to fill up. So if you're interested in visiting before the holidays, I definitely recommend uh, getting online and getting that scheduled. Our alumni referral award. Bethany graduates are able to refer up to three high school seniors every year to receive a $1,000 alumni referral award. So. If you know any Bethany alumni, now is a great time to connect or reconnect with them. For our church-based scholarships, Bethany is the oldest of 15 Disciples of Christ colleges and universities in the US. Um, our founder, Alexander Campbell, he was actually one of the founding fathers of the Christian church. So we do have two scholarship opportunities that are available to students who are uh, members of the DOC. Dan, I just put his email address up here. He is our enrollment counselor who works specifically with these scholarships, and he can answer any questions that you may have. Feel free to either copy down his email, take a picture, take a screenshot, um, whatever works if you would like to talk with him. For FAFSA, you may have heard all about this already, but just to kind of review it for Bethany as well. To apply for financial aid in addition to all those scholarships we already talked about, you will need to complete a free application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA for short. This opens for high school seniors every year on October 1, so it is up and running now. The FAFSA will help determine any additional federal, state, or college grants that you qualify for, as well as any student loan or federal work study opportunities. <coughs> Excuse me. For outside scholarships, um, we do accept the West Virginia Promise Scholarship here at Bethany. If you have not already, um, definitely be sure to talk with your high school counselor about scholarship opportunities. They are often the most knowledgeable person about college scholarships that are local to your community. Every year, like I said, I work with West Virginia students. So every year I have a lot of students in this state that earn outside scholarships. 
Sometimes it's through their high schools. Sometimes it's through their own part-time jobs, through their parents' jobs. Um, the, there's a lot of places that have outside scholarships available and your high school counselor is the best place to start um, looking for those. As for other outside scholarships, um, you can use the internet to search for them. We do want to make sure that all students are safe while doing this and only applying to legitimate scholarships. I would definitely recommend starting on our website at that same link that's on the screen. Uh, from there, you will see a section for outside scholarships with some external links of some credible websites that would be good to use. That is gonna be your best place to start to look for um, any other types of outside scholarships outside of your high school. Now let's go back to those competitive scholarships for a few minutes. Um, Bethany College definitely recognizes the rising cost of higher education and strives to be an affordable option for all students and families. Approximately 90% of our students receive financial assistance. And Bethany offers the Presidential Scholarship as well as the Honors and Kalon Leaders Programs as competitive awards, which is what you see here. The Competitive Scholarship Competition will include two separate rounds for the 2021-2022 academic year. So if you're a senior now and you're applying to Bethany, this is for you if you qualify for these. Here's what you need to be eligible. Okay, to be eligible, students must have a minimum official high school GPA of a 3.0. And you do have to complete the following for round one, an application for admission, of course, and you do have to be accepted to Bethany before you can apply for these. And this all has to be done before that deadline, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Uh, the scholarship application, which is separate, and we will send that to you uh, if you qualify to apply for these. The scholarship application has some basic information in it, along with an activity sheet, which you can kind of think of like as a resume, um, and some short answer questions this year. And then that FAFSA, we do require that to be completed before round one. You'll see on the bottom of this screen here, uh, two different sections. There's a fall semester section and a spring semester. The fall semester deadline is coming up uh, next week, uh, pretty close, the 30th, so the end of the month. Um, and you would have to have all three of those things done by that time in order to compete in the fall semester. If you haven't started applying yet uh, and you don't think you'll be able to have everything in before the 30th, it's totally okay. We do have a spring semester that happens as well. Uh, your chances of receiving one of these scholarships do not change depending on which semester you, you do the application um, and the interviews for. So just kind of keep that in mind. The fall semester is coming up the spring semester deadline is January 22nd. So don't get that confused with thinking spring, oh, March, April. Um, the deadline for that semester is pretty early in that spring semester at the end of January, okay? So what will these competitions look like? For round one, students will submit that scholarship application that includes uh, those short answers to a series of questions and an activity sheet for review. Applications will be evaluated by the scholarship committee to determine if a student will be invited to interview in round two for either the honors or Kalon leaders programs. So when you interview, you will be interviewing for one of these two programs. In that round two, students will not only have a scheduled Zoom interview with a group of interviewers, but will also have to provide a response to an essay question that will be provided ahead of that interview. As a result of these interviews, a candidate may be nominated by the interview group for the award that best matches not only how they can contribute to the individual scholarship or award group, but also to the Bethany College campus and student experience. Students exhibiting stellar academic leadership and personal characteristics may be nominated for the full tuition presidential scholarship along with their honors or KLUN program offers. So these scholarships, if you apply for these and compete and um, win one of them, you do have the opportunity to earn up to a full tuition scholarship. Now, keep in mind, our highest merit scholarship is $20,000. So applying for any of these, those scholarships are all higher than that $20,000. But if you would receive that full tuition presidential scholarship, that is, of course, significantly higher at full tuition. 
to wrap up here, I, I want to share some responses from some of our current students about different reasons why they chose to attend Bethany College. I do think that one of the most important things about the college search process is to understand that everyone's different. Some things will matter more to you than others. Location, programs, programs of study, uh, class size, athletics, scholarships, the list could definitely go on and on and will probably look different for every one of you that are watching this presentation. I really do hope that at least one of the reasons on this screen connects with you and makes you want to apply to Bethany. My contact information is on this screen. Please, of course, call, text, email anytime. Also, make sure you do follow us on social media for important information and reminders throughout the year. Um, I haven't seen any Q&A come in. Let's give it about a minute or so. If you have any questions, please feel free, type them in now. I'm happy to answer, um, talk about anything. If not, we will wrap up for the evening. So let's give it a minute or so. You know, while I'm thinking of it, um, one of the questions we get asked all the time about um, coming to Bethany is kind of just what, what's included? What does looking or living on campus look like? Can I have a car? Uh, what about laundry? What about printing? All those questions come up all the time. So I figure maybe I'll just answer that one now in case anyone's thinking about that. As for a car, yes, you can have a car on campus and you can have it all four years. Um, are your parking permit fees are actually already included in your tuition and fees. So that's covered. That's not anything extra out of pocket. Uh, if you're not bringing a car, that's totally fine. Campus is 100% walkable. You can get everywhere you need to be without a car on campus. Um, so if you're not going to bring one, that's, that's fine. You'll fill out a little form that says, hey, I'm not bringing a car. Uh, and then they'll just take that charge off of your account for you. So yes, you can have a car. Uh, some things kind of similar related, things that are also already included in your tuition and fees. Uh, laundry is another one. So kind of nice. You don't have to worry about having quarters on hand or making sure you have the right amount of dollars loaded onto your card. Um, you already pay that up front with your tuition and fees. So if you're someone that likes to wash your clothes, I mean, you can do a load every day if you really want to. You do provide your own laundry detergent, of course, but um, you're free to wash your clothes as many times as you want. Um, printing is another one. Um, you can print all over campus as many times as you need, as many pages as you need. Um, that is also already included in your tuition and fees. And then perhaps the biggest one that I think is a little bit different. I haven't really heard of this uh, much else, anywhere, anywhere else. Um, our books are already included in our tuition and fees for our students. So that's typically a huge cost savings for our students. They love that program. Uh, like I said, it's already built in. So when you work with your academic advisor to get your um, fall classes scheduled, once that's done or said and done, they'll send your list of classes to our bookstore who will then work together. They'll get your boxes, your books put together in a box. So on move-in day, it's awesome. You drive right past, they throw them in your trunk and you're good to go. Uh, and that program usually works out to be a major cost savings for our students. So they love it. Uh, it's not a mandatory program. You can opt out of it if you want, uh, but I have never had a student um, opt out. So they love it. Um, and that's, like I said, it's a huge cost savings. So those are some things that are already included. Uh, there's, there's small things, um, I get that, but they can make a difference. So uh, that's a super common question I already get. All right, I have not seen anything else pop in. So it was really nice to talk with you this evening. Um, make sure you take a screenshot of all my contact information on the screen here and reach out anytime and schedule that virtual visit if you're interested in that uh, $1,000 visit grant. All right. Thanks, everyone. All right, Stephanie, thank you uh, to, to you and Bethany College for joining us this evening and providing students with all this information about your institution. Uh, we'd like to also like to thank the students for joining us this evening. Um, when you do close this window, there is going to be a
quick link, a uh, four questions to a four, four question survey. Uh, we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide to help us improve any on anything. Um, again, this is just one of the many sessions being hosted. So please be sure to sign up for any additional sessions at wvacrao.org. Uh, and again, in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as the other sessions from all the other institutions at the same website, wvacrao.org. Uh, thank you all and have a good evening.